believe me. Your hopes, believe me, see, the whole thing is not to give a good pumped up lecture if you don't understand. So, okay, it might like sound redundant, but I find out that we listen, but we don't listen. You understand what I'm saying? We listen, but we don't listen. And, 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 and this ain't no ego shit like I got all the knowledge that I'm teaching you. I have to wrestle with this shit every day myself. I have to, I, I ask the mate, well, what about, and sometimes you be like, well, damn, I wonder if this shit is even real. But that's the part of the rest. So I'm in utter confusion also, too. And I'm going to show you something in a few minutes. So, so this is not, this is not no ego shit like I got some shit I'm telling y'all. Because there is no such thing as knowledge of one person has got a certain amount of knowledge and the knowledge is synonymous to him. This shit is universal. You understand what I'm saying? And I just have to beat myself up. And the reason why I can come up with it and shit is because basically I don't work. I suffer for it because I don't have absolutely no money whatsoever. And goddamn the bills is coming. But you know what? Uh, uh, you know what? Remind me because a sister called today and she got it from a Bodun priest on a hellified ritual to get some goddamn money. So I know that we ain't talking about, huh? Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. But I, I don't wanna. I don't wanna get off the spiritual thing. I'm, I'm gonna drop it. But don't get out of here without getting this thing. But now remember now, it's gonna open. But. You know, you get these things out, and some people say, I did it, and it didn't happen. But you got to be true to yourself. You, you're supposed to resort to this to, for, for supplement income that can help you as far as just keeping some shit on. Uh, some money that can keep you, you know what I'm saying? Because you just, does that take for instance, you just need money because the crack will stop you and give you a 40 damn dollar ticket in a fucking man. You know, all kind of shit that keep you in slavery. You know, sometimes you can be out of the room and say, I got this shit going, and the crack will stop you, and a damn ticket costs 40 50 dollars. 80. You see, so he got all kinds of stuff. Then they got all kinds of taxes and rules to keep you fucked up. You see what I'm saying? So we're not talking about a nigga that's trying to get like Michael Jordan so we can fulfill our ego with all these trinkets. We're just talking about mere survival. You understand what I'm saying? Mere survival. And I'm telling you, he got all kind of laws and stuff to keep you down because that's an energy, that's an energy that they're using to make sure that your ass don't get to no spiritual shit. So we're going to give you this particular ritual in a few minutes. Uh, in a few minutes. Okay, uh, 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 in, in, in a few minutes. Now look at this. Now, let me, let me finish this. So the original God in the beginning, uh, 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 so now, also too, now I, I got to do like the brothers in the Afrocentric community used to do, which is a good concept. Um, uh, any of y'all motherfuckers in your damn twenties, not only do you unask the seats for the damn sisters, but you unask the seat for the elders too. So the brother standing out here, I've been seeing the brother. The brother been in this shit for a while. So one of y'all motherfuckers need to unask the seat for the goddamn elder. You see what I'm saying? Not you, brother, because you you. <laughs> you done, <laughs> you, you, you paid for that seat. No, come on in, bro. I, you know, come on in and have a seat, man. Just have a seat. That's just, you know, we got to, you know, fair is fair. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You know? And I know because, like I say, it, 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 he, you, got, you, had, you got children. And, you know, you had any children, you know them motherfuckers don't disappear at no 18. Them motherfuckers was a lifetime of trouble. So he, <laughs> he earned that right, too. <laughs> and like I said, too, you know what I'm saying? So we do that also for, the, for what you call it. And I'm not saying you are elder as far as a old, but, but you, you're still younger than the damn warrior out here. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You know, because don't expect me to fight with this big gut. It's send that nigga there. <laughs> no. Give me the damn oozy. <laughs> now. Now, you see, now the deal is, is this. Now the deal is, is the original God that they're talking about is supposed to come, the one that was in the beginning, that we talk about, Kevin, the premium mobile, which is the first light of creation. It's like an hourglass. It comes all the way down here to the kingdom. The kingdom is Malkuth, the fallen daughter that will be redeemed. Malkuth is in Keva, Keva is in Malkuth. The premium, so the first original creator is broken up and it comes down and you catch it. So that means not only that you are God, there is no God above you. Now, 
See, we got to, let's think a minute. That means the, the concept that we talk about is, is based on the Gnostic scriptures, based on esoteric virgins, and I have studied all of them enough to know. Based on the concept of what they're talking about, the, imagine the most, report, most remote part of heaven that you think is powerful. You understand what I'm saying? That most remote part of heaven that you think is powerful has now come down to here, and that rests within you. There is no God above you. You understand what I'm saying? There is no God above you. You see? So that's the key. So now, it says the soul that escapes reincarnation is one that, one that knows the knowledge of self, of self-knowledge, which means the knowledge that you God, and so therefore you won't have to come back down to the earth realm again. Now, let's go on. Let's, let's, let's see some things. Let's see some things here that we're going to deal with here. Uh, or what um, reason, reason, reason why they had to go ahead and they had to destroy these texts. Let's deal with some of the stuff right out of the text right now. So we're going to go to 113. And it says, uh, okay, homosexual practices. These males and these homo this homosexual they're talking about here is not talking about an individual black person that so happens to be homosexual. They're not talking about that. They're not talking about the individual in so far that you are not even worth writing on. They are talking about a race of people. Whenever they deal with these commandments and stuff, they're talking about races other than, other than the Gnostic race. Now, first of all, let me tell you what the Gnostic race is. Let's deal with this. The Gnostic race. Uh, the Gnostic race is a seed of the Holy Spirit that is hidden. And it says that is hidden. It says evil thought, inert, has not been removed from its midst. And the members of it are enslaved to wickedness. So there's a seed. Where's the seed? Who know the seed? What's the seed? Melanin, black dot. Y'all heard that before. So the seed, listen. But it's not removed from wickedness, the members of this it. But the seed is revealed in the perfect light and will stream forth upon each person. That's us. And like all being, it will be anointed. So there you have it. What is Christ? The anointed one. The seed that they're talking about, they didn't say one damn person, the Gnostic scripts say, it will stem forth in each person. Then the slaves will be free and the captives will be ransomed. They're going to ransom off these, you're going to ransom off these mugs. Every planet that may father in the heavens has not planted will be rooted up, whatever that means, which means everything is coming together what it means. Those who are separated will join and will become full. That means all of the particular seeds will come back together. This seed is called the Gnostic seed of the Gnostic race of Set. Now, this is not Set Typhon. This is Soot, the ancient black one, the original black one. So now... When they talk about homosexual practices, they are not talking about homosexual practices in here as the same homosexual of just individuals and immoralism. This ain't got nothing to do with black people whatsoever. Black people are fools all around the planet. So therefore, we would never make it if it was based on a fire and brimstone God that's going to chastise us. Yeah. That's, um, this is the Benton, 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 Layton, um, um, Benton Layton, uh, the, the uh, Bentley Layton's book, and I'll tell you, I'll give you the name of the, the seed, I'll give you the page number of the seed in a few minutes. We're going to go through some scriptures right here. Now, homosexual practices. Those males among them are called Levites and do not have sexual intercourse with families, uh, 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 with, with, excuse me, excuse me, I'm reading too fast. Do not have sexual intercourse with females. But they have intercourse with one and another. Or one, yeah, one and another. They, of course, are the ones who are preferred and honored among them. 